Hey everyone, this is Jen from Crystal Guidance and I am bringing you a crystal comparison video of Astrophilite versus our Fedsonite. This is probably one of the most mistaken crystals if you look on Google Images, which is where a lot of people think, oh, this has got the right information. You look on eBay, Etsy, and if you're looking to purchase the Astrophilite, the vast majority of the time, what you're seeing listed as that is actually our Fedsonite. And the problem is they are seeing the flashes of color. Let's see, my raw piece shows a bit more. They're seeing the flashes of color and they're assuming that the inclusions there then are the Astrophilite, which is not the case. So in this video, I really want to give you this huge side-by-side -side comparison so you can visually see the differences and learn the differences. I believe in seeing is learning. That is why I've been working on collecting these for so long now so I can really give you a good view. So again, we have here the Astrophilite and these are the Arfedsonite. You'll notice right off the bat that the Arfedsonite is black with the play of colors. Whereas the Astrophilite has white or a cream off-white gray coloring. Now let me go into the details of why that is for you guys. I will start with the Astrophilite since that is the one that is the most common misconception. You're going to find it in the off-white to gray matrix. That matrix is actually Nephilim cyanite and the little stars, the copper color in there. That is the astrophilite. That is the actual crystal we are looking for. This piece here really shows it. You can see there the matrix. And there's the copper shimmer, the nice layering of the astrophilite on top of it. And you'll notice that with all of the pieces, it is a copper shimmer. You will never, ever find it with blue. And it is not a gold, not a silver. It is always copper. And by that, I have it on here as a bronze, copper, reddish brown. So you'll notice this one's a bit more of a reddish brown, bronze coloring. So a copper, bronze, always, but you will never, ever find it with blue. The blue, then, is what's going to show up for our Arfedsonite. Now let me actually show you the raw one. This is the only raw piece I've actually found. And a lot of people thought that it was a black tourmaline. It is not. This is actually raw Arfedsonite, which coloring wise is a dark blue to black in color, as you'll notice. Now, the thing with this is, well, I'm not seeing any of those displays of color, so how do I know it's that? Well, from what I was learning, and I have been putting in days and days of research so that I could get you guys the information of what in here exactly causes the display of coloring. It is actually pleochroic. Pleochroic. I had to look that one up, how to pronounce it, just to make sure I had it right. So basically, pleochroic means the appearance of different colors when viewed at different angles, especially with polarized light. So that would explain why we're seeing it in polished form, but not necessarily the rough form. Is It's actually bringing out those colors in there, the blues, the silvers, the golds. And 
And of course, then the black also being our Fedsonite. Now, I was talking to a geologist friend of mine just kind of to verify. And I wanted to make sure of what the more the golden coloring would be. And he thinks that that is due to ionization. Otherwise, usually it's going to be more of the blue since our Fedsonite is naturally a bluish black to black. So much like a Labradorite would have the flashes of color, but that's not their predominant color, you're also getting that with the Arfedzonite. So again, um, like I said, my geologist friend says that likely, but not positively, it's ionization that's causing the more yellow gold color. So you'll notice really the big differences between them. You've got the white matrix and you've got the black. That's really going to help show and tell the difference. Now, here's where we're going to have a little bit of fun. Now I'm going to go into what other crystals can grow with them. Both crystals can, both of these can grow with azurine. So I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side difference just so you can kind of see. Again, this one's the azure. This one's our Fedsonite. Both of them. So you'll notice some of these. Oh, bump the camera. Let's see, that one shows it even better. Where you've got that bronzy color in there of the astrophilite. You've got the nepheline, cyanite, I'm sorry, cyanite matrix. And then we've got the black in there of the azurine. So you've definitely got your mixes. Now this piece I thought was really cool. You notice the pink. That can also grow in both. That is Udiolite, which you kind of see it in this piece. I don't have a really good raw piece at the moment, and these are the best that I have of the tumbles. But nevertheless, that kind of gives you the idea. Again, you've got azurine that can grow with the Udiolite. But the pink, the pinkish red color in there is Udiolite. And something else that a lot of people are confused about. Let's see, I know I've got a good one in here. I do not remember which one it is. Let me see. But you'll notice a lot of the times, even with the Arfedsonite, it's got the inclusions. People assume that it is garnet. It is not. It is also Udiolite. I thought I had a, one that showed it better. But You'll notice those dark red coloring in these as well. That's the diolite showing. That one's kind of showing it. So, they do both grow with similar crystals. You've got the azurine, you've got the diolite, but pay attention to its coloring. You are not going to find necessarily the white matrix, especially, you notice like all of them. Or the black. You might find a little other mixture, but generally you're looking at black with the Arfedsonite. Whereas with your Astrophilite, you're going to be looking for that white matrix in there. So that really kind of helps to show the differences. I mean, especially in the raw form, there's no doubt of the difference between them. But go ahead and bring in these side by side and you can tell. So do not trust Google in this case. Just because Google or just because, you know, even sellers, they are going based upon what their vendor told them and they are going based upon what they think. So I have been researching this one so that I can put out that correct information for you. So you can visually see the differences. And if you're not 100% sure which one you have, 
go ahead and message me through crystalguidance.com and I'll be happy to tell you if it's actually astrophilite or not. All right. So, I think I have covered everything. If you want more of the geological information, such as the chemical composition, the hardness, the streak, I have all of those listed on my article for the astrophilite versus the arfedsonite on my website, crystalguidance.com. So just head on over there and check it out if you want that information. So until the next video, our next one will be a, another crystal comparison. So make sure, like this post if you found it at all helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash crystal guidance. And I'll see you next week. Sending you all so much love and crystal blessings.